as we come into, you know, MLK Day for the NBA, I think a lot of things, you know, have gone really, really well. A lot of things haven't gone so well, but I mean, things are looking pretty interesting now in the NBA. Now that we got a little bit more games of the rebel, we're about halfway through the season now. So, you know, a lot of teams have played about 40 or 41 games at this point. So, you know, we're officially halfway through the season. And right now, you know, right now, based off of what I'm seeing right now, this is, this will change, you know, by, you know, by MLK Day itself. You know, the Bulls, they have really gotten it together. They're the number one seed in the East right now. You know, they're 27 and 12 right now, just based off this, uh, you know, video being uploaded. Um, the Nets, they, they got Kyrie Irving back, and then, you know, things happened with Corona Chan. I mean, <laughs> what can you say, man? The Bucks are still doing good. The 76ers have turned it around again. You know, that that win I saw, you know, against Golden State last month for the 76ers was obviously key in turning this team around. I mean, this 76ers team is a good team. Uh, I'm surprised, you know, at teams like the Cavs and the Hornets and the Marta Rosen, you know. Yeah, I said the Marta Rosen because I mean, the Marta Rosen has just been on a tear the past couple of weeks. I mean, You've seen him play the past couple weeks. He's been putting up points in bunches. He's been putting up, you know, shots in bunches that have been awe-inspiring. I mean, this is just what what a damn good player he is. Uh, but then, you know, you got other teams, you know, like the Raptors, the Wizards. Celtics are kind of trailer right now. The Knicks, they were in a good position a month ago, but obviously that is not the case now. You know, kind of worried about the Hawks a little bit here. And then, you know, Pistons and Magic are pretty bad uh, I, I, there's still some trade and stuff going on right now you know uh, today so i mean i'm not sure you know who's getting traded where uh, so the east you know is actually looking quite nice right now you know it's a uh, it's looking like a pretty intriguing you know race at this moment but we'll see you know how everything shakes out by the time we get to the all-star break and when i update you all again with the nba meanwhile in the west the Grizzlies, out of hell, they, they, they've won 11 straight games at this moment, at this moment, not, you know, uh, we're not talking, you know, this on MLK Day, we're talking at this moment, so they won a lot of games in the row, they're number three in the West, of course, you know, they're behind the Warriors and the Suns, you know, the Warriors and Suns have had three classics already, they'll have one more in March, uh, so that's going to be real intriguing. I'm kind of curious to see, you know, what the Jazz are doing, you know, again. Uh, you know, like, you know, they, they're they a real pretty good team. You know, they've had, you know, again, you know, COVID has been running rampant. You know, I, I'm just going to say it right now. COVID has been running extremely rampant around the league. And it's forced, you know, some games to get moved and stuff like that. And, you know, things are just, things are just going to be the way like they are, you know, for now. Uh, Jokic and the Nuggets, they're, they're doing pretty good. You know, the Lakers are still kind of struggling. You know, LeBron and company are still, they're still trying to figure things out. I just don't know if they can, you know, you know, like I, I, I genuinely don't see this team, you know, get to the top six if they can't get it together soon. They got to get it together real soon or else they're not going to be in the top six. They're going to be in the playing games. So, uh, I, I just think that that's what I'm thinking right now. The West actually just has a lot of teams with losing records right now, which is crazy, because that's usually the opposite. Usually the East has a lot of teams, you know, that have losing records by now, and it's it's the opposite this year. So, the East is looking a lot better this year. I don't know why, but it just is. You know, the Clippers are starting to gain some momentum again. You know, the Timberwolves, Trailblazers also there. Kings are... You know, their broadcast team is entertaining, but I'm not sure about the kicks themselves, you know. That, that's that's really it, you know. Of course, you know, Steph Curry, you know, doing his thing. Clay Thompson has come back. He, he's come back, and, you know, he's continued to wow us all each and every week. And, then, you know, Suds right now, um, in fact, today they just beat Pacers. So, DeAndre Ayton, Devin Booker, I mean, this is a combination. Again, the Suds, you know, have brought – you know, pretty much everybody back, and they really made this year look. They really, they really just look good all year long, and they got a lot of marquee matchups left in the season. You know, 
In fact, the Mavs are playing the Grizzlies tonight, so I wonder how. You know, I know I know Luka Doncic, you know, and everything. You know, I mean, the, the the Mavs crew has just been it's been kind of rough for, for the Mavs for me. But you know, they're they're making it they're making it work. They're making it work, guys. They're making it work. Okay, they're making it work. Mavs are making it work. You know, they they signed guys. They got guys. You know, all ten. You know, there was the whole ten day player uh, fiasco. You know. Where you know you had to sign a guy for like ten days because of COVID, and that that was a mess. <laughs> that was definitely a mess at times, you know. So this this is gonna be real intriguing, you know. You know, have to see how we you know fare once by the time we get to the All Star break. It's gonna be a it's gonna be a hell of a lot more interesting to see you know a little bit more clarity. I don't think I have a lot of clarity right now. I don't think I don't think y'all have a lot of clarity right now either because me the NBA is a grind it out on a night-by-night -night basis, and I just don't know right now, like, you know, there could be some catastrophic co collapses and stuff by the time we get to the All-Star break, and that's when I'll come to you all again talking about the NBA, but until then, you know, you know, I, I, I'm, I'm just curious about the Bulls, man, <laughs> I'm curious, I'm curious, man, I'm curious, they're looking pretty good, Bulls fans, where you at, but in any, but in any case, I'll see you again very soon. We got college basketball to talk about. We got NFL wildcard to talk about. Of course, you know, if you see the rest of the videos throughout the week, we had stuff to talk about. So I'll see you again very, very soon. Take care. Have a good day or a good evening or a good afternoon, wherever you are. And subscribe.